Hello. Welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. Today I'm going to be doing a different video because I do have a, a 3R on this bike coming up. Um, courtesy of the Island Biker. Go along, come up, he's a gent. But today I'm going to be doing a video on why I ride bikes, just in general, and why you should too. So stay tuned. The number one reason is the sense of adventure that you get from a bike and I, I don't mean to sound cliched about this even though it very well might sound cliched but I don't feel in my own head rightly or wrongly whether I can go the same places in my car just because cars are really bloody expensive you can't park them much places anymore there's paved parking now in Ireland whereas ugh, on bikes it isn't so number one, definitely, the sense of adventure. It means, since I've gotten this bike, I've gone so many more places, you know, seen many, so many more things um, just here. Just, you know, because the mood takes me. I'm like, oh, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fire off somewhere today and, and see what it's like. Also, it has brought me to motovlogging, um, which I suppose is part of a sense of adventure. Um, because without bikes, I wouldn't have done it. Another reason that I'm sure a lot of people who ride bikes can identify with is power. This is only a 600 and I wasn't ragging it there and the power you can get out of a 600 motorbike, 600cc motorbike is phenomenal. It's the type of power you'd otherwise have to go into the, you know, even low-end super car market for. I mean low-end is in like still incredibly expensive. As in more than I'd be willing to spend on a house expensive. Until you get there, you're not getting this type of straight line acceleration performance. Top speed obviously suffers because, you know, there's no replacement for displacement and all that. But for acceleration, you just can't beat it. Power is definitely one of them. And fun factor. I have a lot more fun going fast in this than I have fun going fast in my car. Not that I'm going fast right now, I'm obviously going the speed limit. Of course. The next point is going to sound cliche again, and I'm sorry. There's no way to avoid it. But the sense of freedom you get, you know, like if I want to, I can squeeze in and park right there on the side of the road and I'm not going to block traffic. Is it safe? Probably not. Either is riding a motorbike, so you get over it. But I want to stop and I want to take a picture of that beautiful mountain in front of us. I can do that. The sense of freedom. It's there, it's tangible. You need to ride a bike to understand, and I, I genuinely mean that. And I ha actually have a story to back that one up. So two of my close friends, one of whom is uh, the cameraman from the last video, you should definitely look at that, it's all talking about braided brake lines that I've installed on the Magna, and also slightly talks about the ones I put on this bike. Big J. Big J recently jumped on the back of the Magna for like 30 seconds to a minute around a housing estate and got off and shat his pants with happiness because he'd had such a good time. Now, he didn't understand where the sound came from because he'd always, and Big J confirmed this for me in the comments, make a new account called Big J as well, confirm this for me, right? You always were saying, you don't, you aren't affected by noise, you know, you don't get affected by this feeling that other people feel when they're in vehicles. Oh, he felt it that day and now he's bloody well affected by it I hope and I'm gonna have to build on that sense of effectiveness I need him to be fully affected I need him to get a bike that moves on to a boring point practicality right now I am commuting I don't know like over 100 kilometers anyway like at least 140 Bye. I'll give that guy in the Audi one thing, he was fast. Where was I? Practicality. 
purely from a fuel point if you want to go fast in your car you're going to use a lot of fuel like a lot of fuel well in my car anyway you will and in any car that can kind of match the pace of this bike you also certainly will the other part of practicality is just you know dodging traffic and i know this isn't true for the likes of uh, another gentleman who watches this channel mr monkey butt and uh, also advise given his channel look up also another sound man oh he is not allowed filter uh, where he is which is colorado and i think it's illegal to filter in most states in america which really doesn't make sense to me um i mean it is it, i know it, maybe some drivers don't like it but oh i just hit 37000 there you go 37000 kilometers but anyway um it it doesn't make sense it's it is safer in my opinion to filter to the head of the traffic you don't have people going to rear end you etc and then something i talked about in my electric motorcycle versus mt10 video feel there is nothing that feels like a bike to me i just i love them and that feel isn't only you know when you're actually on the bike it's like it's owning one you know i get to look at it i actually enjoy cleaning this and having it clean i enjoy taking pictures of it i love it to bits same as my magna it's easy work away on them like I, where my where i live I can work on my two bikes in my back garden. I cannot work on my car where I have to park it. It just doesn't happen. The last one is kind of you. You now you can do this with cars as well. Don't get me wrong, but for, this is this is for me. This is why I ride motorbikes. You can base an entire trip around a motorbike, an easy trip, because, for instance, at the moment myself, um, Limerick Stig and Kev Cobb who just bought a new bike we're gonna go uh, to Scotland and spin around the roads and our entire trip the whole reason behind the trip is to go somewhere nice to ride our bikes you know you can do that with a car but like you're probably not gonna for me anyway it's being able to plan a trip around a vehicle this old reliable machine here it's gonna bring me places um, because I know I asked in a previous video should I get an R1 or a VF4 or upgrade this a bit and I think for now what makes sense for me is to just you know wrench away on this and put a few bits on it now the last bit of this video is why you should ride a bike so today before I got on the bike and I only put on my camera when I was like a half hour from home I'd say I was feeling sick kind of down a bit for multiple reasons and then I got on my bike and within 10 minutes I felt better now part of the reason I felt sick was because I was really really way too hot and that's because Ireland is well it's really sunny right now and we're, we're not used to that so it's no bueno um, it's, it just it doesn't work for for people who have potatoes running in their veins but yeah nearly killed me so a part, part of the reason why I got out and cooled off was because obviously I'm on a bike and you know in a bike you're out in the air and the air's hitting you and it's it's relatively late on it's nine o'clock so that did help. Well I think just the feeling of being back on my bike which I hadn't ridden for a whole day uh, that helped too. So if you do if you feel like you're empty by a bike if you can't really afford a car but want transport buy a bike just do it the safe way do it the right way learn how to ride one before you go out in the road i'm not condoning hooliganism you know illegal hooliganism that's no bueno but you should get a bike just get out get one and even if you don't get one right if you have someone who has a bike or you have someone who can who can give you a spin on a bike just experience it once just once if you're not hooked after that one time they're probably not for you but definitely experience it once don't write them off without trying them because no one writes a car off without trying them everyone tries a car and some people are like nah i don't like driving not for me it's boring it's crap none of those can be affiliated to bikes 
bikes keep you engaged they keep you interested that's why i ride bikes i hope it made sense i'm a rambler so if it didn't come together and make sense i apologize as an overall if you've stayed this long it's just because they're class they make you feel good they're fast for cheap and they look pretty but if you've liked the video hit that like button in any way you want most people ask for smashing you don't need to smash it with me a nice gentle press will do same with the subscribe button please do hit it but again a nice gentle soft click or if you want to ram your fist down the subscribe button throw it i don't care as long as you press it and then stay coming back for all of my videos because it makes me feel nice when people watch them sort of maybe thank you very much for watching I'll hopefully see you next time. Other than that, that's all for me. Thanks again for watching. Adios.